In today's video, we will see how to access a Synology NAS from anywhere in the world without a public IP. First, we will go to the Package Center, and if you scroll down a bit, you will see an application named Tailscale. I will try to mark it in red for better visibility. We will install this application. This application installs within a few seconds after clicking the Install button because it is a very lightweight software. As you can see, the installation is complete almost instantly. Now I will try to log in using a Google account. However, you can use other available methods to log in if you prefer. Here you can see that I have successfully logged into the Tailscale application on my Synology NAS server using Google. Now let's install the Tailscale app on our PC. It is important to mention that Tailscale must be installed on both devices, an ass and PC, for it to work properly. Now we have initiated the download command for the Tailscale application on our PC. Although I already have it installed, I am demonstrating the process for the sake of this video. Here I am showing the Windows version, but as you can see, there are four other operating systems available and you can install Tailscale on them in the same way. However, keep in mind that after installation, you must log in using the same Google account or use an invitation link to connect your device properly. Here you can see that Tailscale has been successfully installed on my computer and I have logged in. You can also see my assigned IP address. Now we will go to the Tailscale control panel where we can check how many devices are connected and their respective IDs. Since these details are highly confidential, I am demonstrating this using a demo account for security reasons. In your case, make sure to keep your information private and secure. Now we will try to access our Synology NAS using the IP address provided by Tailscale. Let's see how it works. You can see that we have successfully accessed our Synology NAS using the Tailscale provided IP address and it is working perfectly. Now let's test SMB, server message block network functionality, to check if we can transfer files using this Tailscale IP. Let's give it a try. You can see that we have successfully accessed the Synology NAS SMB network using the Tailscale provided IP address and it is working flawlessly. The file transfer speed also seems to be quite good, meaning that you can access your home network from anywhere in the world without needing a public IP just by using applications like Tailscale. So, in today's video, I have demonstrated how you can remotely access your Synology NAS without a public IP and still complete all your tasks with ease. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel, share the video, and if you have any questions or issues, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. We will do our best to help you. That's all for today. See you in the next one. Tata. -ta.